now it's about 325. I'm about to go for a run. Uh, I haven't ate yet. Hold on. I'm excited. I'm gonna come back and eat. But right now, let's get it. Alright, so I'm walking right now. There's a um there's a trail. You guys can probably see it. There's somebody running right down the trail. But I'm walking to the start of it. Just catching my groove for real. But it's a dope ass day. I'm appreciative of the day and I'm glad that I'm outside. I gotta do this more often. But I have been though. Literally summertime vibes for real. Like when school's over, bro, I just like go all in on me for real. Well, when school is there, I guess that is going all in on me too, right? Like, leveling up, that's my education and stuff. But this right here, though, feels this, this, ooh, they pull nice as hell. Look at it. You got a nice ass pool. But this right here feels so fire, bro. Right. Alright. I'm gonna run to the start. Yeah, I'm gonna start running, so peace out. Alright, so so far I'm at about a half a mile. Whew. My lungs are a little bit tight. I ain't gonna cap. My cousin that came over to this party. He's an older guy. And uh came over to a party at our house and this fool. He left like this much of a sig on the outside um on the floor and i'm not gonna lie i don't smoke cigs but every blue moon i missed that nick that nick high i used to do like vapes for like a month or two but i'm not i'm not a smoker for real but it's what the made me which want to hit it so i i finished it yesterday the difference in my lungs we are not smoking <laughs> we're not smoking um i was going to uh i have a water pack i just start bringing that home bro because a lot of times i'll be on my walk on my run or whatever and i'll get like thirsty bro and I obviously don't want to carry a water bottle while I'm running. So, gotta start utilizing the, the water bag. Whew. Let's get it. Like I said, I'm right about half a mile. Still pushing. I'm not gonna lie, I keep taking breaks. <laughs> but I will say this, I'm gonna do two miles regardless. If I walk slash run it, I'll take it. I'm gonna do two miles though. That's what I could tell y'all confidently. I tell myself confidently because this doesn't go out to y'all till I post it. Right now, this just goes out to me. So, yeah. I feel so buff though. I'm a buff ass fool, bro. Look. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. So I just did one mile. Let me sit down real quick. So, I hope I don't fall off, bro. But yeah, I just did a mile, like this way. So when I go back, that'll be two miles. Whew, so I did a, it was about a 12, 12 minute, 20 mile. Cause I walked and ran, so. No, don't beat yourself up. Just do, do what you can, but push yourself, you feel me? like? yeah just push yourself uh i did this fun thing so i was just walking running what i did was i just was running and i just let all my energy out and i was just like oh just sprinted as fast as i could like burst stuff i guess that's called like hit where you just put all the intensity into it and then come and then dial it back honestly i used to do that at the gym on the treadmill i'll go hard for a couple seconds pause hard as hell all i could give 
pause. So it's fun doing that on the open trail too. Yes, sir. If you know, you know where I'm at. I'm so big, bro. Like the muscles is muscling. I've been focusing on protein and just eating what I need to eat to make my body feel good, and it's been working out. Like, look at the width. Yeah, once you start, like, putting time in yourself and seeing the results, it's really hard to stop. I'm at, like, a mile, like, 1.8 miles, so I got 0.2 more, and I'll be at 2 miles. But, whew, um, when I get back to the house, it'll be 2 miles. I got, like, another 2 blocks to go. Cannot wait to get home, chug some water. I'll tap in when I'm home. Two miles. I made it. Go get some water. I did 2.3 miles. It was honestly like two and a half, cause I didn't track the walk to the start. I was kidding. So it's like 3 a.m. right now, and I'm in the bathtub, but I didn't forget to vlog. I just haven't been vlogging. I was just out. I went to my girlfriend's house. We went to King Taco. <laughs> Christian, if you go to King Taco, get extra meat. What's up with me going to these places and not getting enough meat? That's the thing, bro. Like, as a protein ass food, bro, like, if I'm not cooking at home or if it's not a home cooked meal or like a restaurant, a lot of these places, bro, they be skimping you on meat. Like, I don't fuck with places where I, where I, when, when I have to ask for extra meat, I'm mad. Because protein is like one of the most important parts of a meal. If I have to ask for extra protein, I'm mad. My favorite restaurants, they give you a, a surplus of meat. I was talking about that Korean barbecue spot in my last video because why they give you a lot of meat. It's all you can eat, top quality meat, bitch. <sighs> Philippine, the Filipino spots I go to, Tony's Barbecue, they give you a lot of meat. Period. Like, I don't get it. Like, I know, like, times are hard, but, like, I need meat. Fuck. So, I got Roscoe's, bro. I got a meal and it came with one breast, and the breast had no meat on it for real. There's not enough protein, bro. Like, there's not enough freaking protein. Like, I don't, like, not even for to get jacked, like, you know, freaking meat or something, but just to be satisfied with food. Like, that's not enough protein, bro. I don't know. Like, I'm not a scientist, but I know that we need a good amount of protein to just feel normal, satiated, and to keep our muscles and, like, body good and in check um or at least like yeah bro but i'd be irritated with that because like let's think of like the, the regular spots you got mcdonald's jack in the box what carl jr taco bell there's no protein in the stuff that they give i feel like you have to know like the secret hacks to get like the amount of meat that you will feel good with so I guess, you know, like when I go to X spots, I have to be like extra meat and then I'm good. You know what? Never mind. I feel like you just have to say extra meat. Feel me? Like, you just gotta get extra meat. I'm thinking like Taco Bell. Like, I think back in the day, you should get like steak quesadillas. Just get like extra steak in your quesadilla or like a bowl. Just get extra steak, Chipotle, extra meat, double meat. King Taco, extra meat, double meat. But I shouldn't have to say that, but I guess I do because it's a fast food spot and like, it's what I signed up for. When you go to a fast food spot, look at the titties, titty, and y'all. I've been hitting chest for real. The titties are getting um. Uh, the cupage is cup. They're cupping. You see it? <laughs> you see? You see what I'm saying? Like they, they're a little sore, but my titties, they're they're getting there. I got top surgery just to get some some bigger titties, bro. 
with male male pattern titties. Imagine it's not muscle, it's just the breast tissue coming back. <laughs> I'm just I'd be cool with that if it's making me look like this, shoot. I just dropped, dang, my titties are titting, bro. I did chest today. And yesterday, I do a lot of chest, literally. That's like my favorite muscle to do, chest, shoulders. Actually, I, I love everything, biceps, triceps, shoulders, abs, legs, back, thumbs, you know? But anyways, yeah, I just feel like coming on here and like ranting about that, but I don't know. Okay, spots like McDonald's, I feel like they really just don't care about you because you can be like extra meat, but like, girl, that's not even 100% meat. But I will say bomb spots to get protein though, if you want. Like today, I didn't vlog it. Sorry, y'all, I didn't pick up the camera, I'm sorry. But I'm here now, I'm sorry, better late than never. But I went to Sprouts after my workout and my girlfriend put me on, they have these sandwiches and I get the tuna salad sandwich. I'll probably show y'all later, but I'll just tell you what it is right now in case you're curious, it's so fire. So you go there and you fill out this little card and you check off what you want in it. And I get white bread, the tuna salad, hot pepper cheese, all the sauces, all the lettuce, tomato, all that. I check everything. I add bacon and I get it toasted. It is so good. And it's like protein filled because after I eat it, I'm like full, satiated. Like I ate that two hours ago and I'm still good. So that says a lot because I get hungry quick because I digest things quickly and I'm just like, especially if I work out like heavy lifting or lifting days, I get hungry faster because my body needs like more nutrients, more protein to like recover. Um, so yeah. And then I got it with these little uglies. They're like, that's the name of the chips at Sprouts. They're like these little 99 cent bags of uglies. I got the cheddar sour cream flavor, fire, and the buffalo ranch, fire. They're kettle chips, they're fire. Uh, so I had that with my sandwich, I had, yeah. And what else did I get? I got an Olipop watermelon lime fire. I usually get that or a kombucha. But anyways, my point is like there's options like that. That's what I got. And honestly, another fast food spot that actually is pretty high protein. But I mean, the thing about fast food though, like, okay, you can get a high protein, but like the fat, sodium, carbs are not gonna be low. Like, they're gonna be high too. You feel me? So you're gonna get a high protein, but you're also gonna get high fat carbs and all that but girl you probably know that when you pull up to the canes drive through but that's what i was trying to say so at canes i do get enough protein because it's chicken tenders i always get four actually i've gotten a three finger combo one time because i wasn't that hungry but with a four finger combo you get like 40 something grams of protein you know so that's like what 12 grams 10 10.3 grams or a tender you know, so if you have four tenders, that's four grams of protein. So that's pretty, that's pretty chill for me for like one of my meals for the day. Obviously, I'm not going to just eat that and then be chilling because 40 grams of protein is not enough for me. I'm 180 pounds of man slash woman because I have, nigga, I'm a. I'm a man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a one, one man for, I don't know, anyways, I'm gonna fuck, I'm, I'm me and like, I'm, I'm just a, a specimen that is everything and anything, so yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm 180 pounds, so realistically to like build the most amount of muscle or just to like be at my top, 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 I need like 180 grams of protein, realistically, I don't usually eat 180 grams of protein per day, that's like a lot, um, I typically get maybe like anywhere from like 120 to 160, realistically so when i get like a hundred like anything over a hundred i feel great like i wake up the next day i'm like Rawr, like i feel good so just getting 40 grams of protein a day is not gonna it's not gonna cut it so if i'm just telling y'all you may be thinking why don't i feel like doing stuff for why don't i have energy to work out a lot bro if you ain't getting your protein in, i swear bro it could, that could literally be it because you ain't gonna wake up feeling tip top like you could have you could work out all you want but if you're not giving your body what it needs you're not gonna wake up the next day and want to go to the gym or want to go for that run or want to lift weights again you feel me like you might want to but your body's like you did us dirty yesterday like you really put us through all that work and then you only gave us 40 grams of protein when you know damn well you need 100 plus so i'm just telling y'all out there you feel me because i feel like i well i'm not even gonna say i neglected that for a while but there will be times where i'll forget to prioritize that like especially during the, my last school semester no i was still eating like there will be there will be days or periods where i slack and i feel it i'm like huh and then i snap back because i'm like i understand why i need to feel good or what i need to feel good so i go buy a steak like literally just eat a whole steak to myself with some veggies 
eat some chicken to myself, get a whole tissue chicken, just smack it. You feel me? Like, just get protein. It doesn't have to be just meat. There could be beans, black eyed peas, eggs, whatever you want to freaking get, however you want to get your protein in. But, um, yeah, it's really underestimated. But when you get your protein in, your vegetables, all that, like, you feel really good. Also, water. Also, freaking water, bro. I get the best pumps when I drink, like, now before I go to the gym or, like, before I do something, I have to chug water because, like, my body is not gonna run. Like, it's kind of like, think of water as, like, oil, right? Like, for your car, you you have to have engine oil in that thing to drive it or else it's gonna be, like, it's gonna be all tight and, like, it's not, it's, it ain't gonna do what it needs to do. So, think of water. pH spots for me. It's my favorite water ever. But, so think of water as, like, oil, right? Like, if you're trying to go run and you don't have no water, like, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, mm, yeah. So, that's pretty much what it is. But, yeah, I'm, uh, um, I'm just telling you all this, telling myself this, too, but, I'm just saying it out loud. I really just, this 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 whole conversation sparked because I was in the shower and I was just mad about yesterday. Because I went to King Taco and I forgot to ask for extra meat. And I didn't want to go back and ask for extra meat. I was just like, man, whatever. I should have went back and asked for extra meat. But, yeah, I was just like, dang, the fact that I had to ask for extra meat, it's trash. Like, y'all give, y'all give portions that are for, like, eight-year-olds. You know? Like, an eight-year-old would be cool off of, four, like, 40 grams of protein. I hope that was not even 40 grams of protein yesterday. Like, an 8-year-old would be cool off a 20-gram protein meal. Because they're 8. And they don't need that much. Because they probably had some chicken nuggets earlier. And that was, like, 20 grams of protein. And then they had, like, I don't know, a yogurt. Two yogurts. That was, like, another 10. And then now they eat a 20-gram protein nachos like King Taco. So that's 50 for the day. And they're only 50 pounds. So that's perfect. So what I'm trying to say is for a 180-pound man, I think that just, that's not going to work for me. Or maybe it's not this is not a slander to fast food spots a little bit but i just gotta do what's best for me and uh yeah i just i need my protein bro i need my protein bro i need my protein <laughs> i need my protein <laughs> i need my protein